taking a few deep intentional breaths, just getting yourself back into the space, letting any tension leave your lungs. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, doing a check-in, starting from the crown of your head, working your way down to the tip of your toes, allowing any tension or tightness to release. And as the body settles, gradually bring your focus to the breath, allowing your surface distractions to settle as well. Just a gentle and even focus on the breath, no big deal. Choosing not to engage with the thoughts that come up. Also not suppressing them. Just leave the thoughts alone and give your main interest to the breath. Let your attention keep returning there. And then visualize in the space in front, Aryatara, radiant white, made of transparent light. Vivid and real, one in nature with your root guru. Embodying the teacher-ness of all enlightened beings. She is in the prime of youth, healthy and strong. She has a third eye. She has an eye in every palm and sole of her feet. She's wearing silken garments. She's in the Vajra posture. And she's seated upon a moon, sun, and lotus. And so whether she appears clearly or not, have a strong sense of her being here present. And if you are able to visualize, see if you can clarify more details than last time, very gently without squeezing the mind. See if you can allow more vividness to the visualization.
feel that she's gazing directly at you with complete kindness, complete wisdom and understanding. She represents your fully actualized potential. She embodies all of the qualities that you are ripening now, growing into now. And then the refuge prayer, holding your awareness of Tara being present. <clears throat> Halfway down page three. I and all living beings as extensive as space from today on until the essence of enlightenment is achieved. Take refuge in the glorious holy gurus. Take refuge in the fully accomplished Buddhas. Take refuge in the holy Dharma. Take refuge in the supreme assembly. I take refuge in the venerable lady, white Tara, the wish-fulfilling wheel, and the complete entourage of deities. I and all living beings as extensive as space from today on until the essence of enlightenment is achieved. Take refuge in the glorious holy gurus. Take refuge in the fully accomplished Buddhas. Take refuge in the holy Dharma. Take refuge in the supreme assembly. I take refuge in the venerable lady white Tara, the wish-fulfilling wheel, complete entourage of deities. I and all living beings as extensive as space from today on until the essence of enlightenment is achieved. Take refuge in the glorious holy gurus, take refuge in the fully accomplished Buddhas, take refuge in the holy Dharma, take refuge in the supreme assembly. I take refuge in the venerable lady white Tara, the wish-fulfilling, and the complete entourage of deities. I prostrate and take refuge in the Holy Guru and the three precious jewels. Please bestow your blessings on my mind stream. In order to attain the fully accomplished state of a Buddha for the sake of all living beings, I will enter the sadhana of White Tara, the wish-fulfilling wheel. In order to attain the fully accomplished state of a Buddha for the sake of all living beings, I will enter into the Siddhana of White Tara, the wish-fulfilling wheel. In order to attain the fully accomplished state of a Buddha for the sake of all living beings, I will enter into the Siddhana of White Tara, the wish-fulfilling wheel. And so bring your attention back to the White Tara in front. And then bring to your mind the visualization of offerings. And then if you have the empowerment, you bless the offerings. And if you don't have the empowerment, you imagine they are blessed on your behalf. Om Vajramrita Kundali Hana Hana Hum Pei Om Sawawa Shura Sawadama Sawawa Shura Om. And think of the emptiness of inherently existent offerings. And visualize out of emptiness eight Om syllables. From them, a pair of spacious, extensive jeweled vessels. inside of which the syllable OM, which transforms into different offering substances, which are clear, unobstructed, and as extensive as space. 
water for drinking, water for washing, flowers, incense, light, perfume, food, and music. And deeper than that, water for drinking, purifying our negative karma. Water for washing. The flowers, open heart of compassion. Incense, the sweet, the sweet scent of morality, ethics. Light dispelling the darkness of ignorance with our wisdom. The perfume of faith based in reason real conviction, the food of samadhi concentration, and the music of harmonious communities. So think that as we bless these offerings, that we're thinking not only of the surface but also the deep practice and whatever we visualize, may it transform into uncontaminated bliss. Om Ayyamayum, Om Padyamayum, Om Pupayahum, Om Dupayahum, Om Malakayahum, Om Gandayahum, Om Nudayahum, Om Shabdaahum. And then the Tara in front dissolves and she reappears above your crown for those without the empowerment. For those with the empowerment, think, I instantly become Venerable Tara. The syllable Tam at my heart emanates rays of light, inviting from her Patala abode, the Lady Tara, the wish-fulfilling wheel, surrounded by the assembly of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas to the space above. So this light we send out is an invitation, an invocation, asking the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas to be present, even though they already are. By inviting them, we become open to them. So imagine all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of all 10 directions take the aspect of white Tara and white Taras fill all of space and come closer and closer to us. And the light dissolves back into my heart. And page five, the prostration. Gods and Asuras with their crowns bow down to your lotus feet. I prostrate to Mother Tar, the one who rescues from all needs. And then we'll do the longer version of the actual offering. So see if you can visualize these offerings going towards Tara or going towards yourself as Tara. Om Guru Arya Tare Sapari Vai Agyam Prati Saum Soha Om Guru Arya Tare Sapari Vai Agyam Prati Saum Soha Om Varya Tare Sapari Vai Pure Pati Sam Soha Om Guru Varya Tare Sapari Vai Do Pay Prati Sam Soha Om Guru Varya Tare Sapari Vai Alokay 
Om Guru Haryatare Sapariwar Gende Prati Sahum Soha Om Guru Haryatare Sapariwar Nuade Prati Sahum Soha Om Guru Haryatare Sapariwa Shabda Prati Sahum Soha. And think that Tara receives these offerings and is delighted. Or that yourself as Tara receives these offerings and is satisfied with bliss uncontaminated by attachment. And then Shakyamuni Buddha appears at the heart or at the heart of the Tara. And we renew the Bodhisattva vow. And for those of us that don't have the Bodhisattva vow, we recite the prayer with strong aspiration. I take refuge in the three jewels. I regret all my unwholesome deeds. I rejoice in the merit of all beings. I will hold bodhicitta until enlightenment. I take refuge until complete enlightenment in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. In order to fulfill the purpose of myself and others, I generate the mind of enlightenment. Having generated the mind of enlightenment, I invite all living beings as my guests. I will remain in this excellent conduct of the bodhisattvas. Thereby may I achieve the state of a Buddha in order to benefit all living beings. I take refuge in the three jewels. I regret all my unwholesome deeds. I rejoice in the merit of all beings. I will hold bodhicitta until enlightenment. I take refuge until complete enlightenment in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. In order to fulfill the purpose of myself and others, I generate the mind of enlightenment. Having generated the mind of enlightenment, I invite all living beings as my guests. I will remain in this excellent conduct of the Bodhisattvas. Thereby may I achieve the state of a Buddha in order to benefit all living beings. I take refuge in the three jewels. I regret all my unwholesome deeds. I rejoice in the merit of all beings. I will hold bodhicitta until enlightenment. I take refuge until complete enlightenment in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. In order to fulfill the purpose of myself and others, I generate the mind of enlightenment. Having generated the mind of enlightenment, I invite all living beings as my guests. I will remain in this excellent conduct of the bodhisattvas. Thereby, may I achieve the state of a Buddha in order to benefit all living beings. And so you think that all of your bodhisattva vows have been completely purified and restored. Any that you were keeping purely have increased in strength. Any broken are completely restored. And if you did not have them before, your connection to receiving them in the future has strengthened. And feel strongly this is the case. And then the four immeasurables pausing after each. May all living beings be endowed with happiness and the causes of happiness. And so meditate on loving kindness. You can repeat the sentence in your head completely silently, letting it touch your heart. And continue. May all living beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. Connect with compassion. Revive it in your heart. Repeating these lines to yourself. 
silently. And continuing, may all living beings be endowed with the happiness that is free from suffering and connect with immeasurable joy. and equanimity. May all living beings remain in a state of equanimity, free of attachment for those they hold close and aversion for those they keep distant. And so reinforce equanimity to yourself. And continuing. Um, Salawa Shuddha Saladama Salawa Shuddha Hum. Everything becomes empty. Meditate on emptiness, which is not nothingness, which is possibility ness, that space of infinite possibility. Allow conventions to dissolve. As much as you can, allow grasping at inherent existence to dissolve or imagine that that's the case. And just be with your understanding of emptiness wherever it is so far. And then we visualize out of emptiness, there appears a syllable, hum, and you can visualize it in English characters or Tibetan characters, whatever characters represent that sound, see it in the space in front, arising out of emptiness, hum. And from Pum comes a white lotus. So the Pum dissolves and is replaced by a white lotus, brilliantly white, like the sun reflected off of snow mountains. So bright. And on top of the lotus appears the syllable ah. Which transforms into a moon disk. Equally white, radiant. The sun disk is implied. On top of the lotus and moon is my own consciousness in the form of a white syllable tum emanating rays of light. It's 
So just stabilize that stack. Lotus, moon, tum, radiating light. Once again, inviting as well as sending offerings. And in response to that light going out, Tara appears in the space in front facing you, or if you have the empowerment, the light collects back and we become venerable wish fulfilling wheel. And we clarify the details, white body, one face, two arms, right hand in the gesture of supreme giving, left hand at the heart and hold between the thumb and ring finger, the stem of an Utpala flower. Food pala flower blossoms at the level of my ear or of the Tara ear. Has three blossoms, the center one in full bloom, the right one having already blossomed and gone to fruit, the left not yet opened. These three symbolize the Buddhas of the three times. adorned with jeweled ornaments, clad in various silken garments. Her body supported by a moon disc behind her, seated in the Vajra position. At the crown is a white om, at the throat, a red ah. At the heart center, blue hum. Also at the heart on a moon disc is the white syllable tum. And again, rays of light are emanated, inviting from the Patala Buddha field in the south, the venerable wish fulfilling wheel surrounded by an assembly of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. So as those Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and the aspect of Tara come back, think that they merge with and become one with the, the white Tara that you visualized. So your visualization becomes empowered and real. Merging. And we say the mantra of merging. Zai hum bam ho. And they become non-dual. Again, rays of light emanate from the syllable at the heart, inviting the initiating deities. These initiating deities are of the five Buddha families and the five colors. But Amitabha is the principle and we request them, please bestow the initiation. And so goddesses appear holding up vases filled with wisdom nectar and they pour it over the crown at the visualized Tara, whether yourself or the one in front. Imagine this nectar flowing down through the crown as we say the initiation mantra. Om Sawatata Gata Abhishakata Samaya Shri Ayavum. And the initiation has been conferred with wisdom nectar. The body is filled, purifying all stains. The excess water overflowing transforms into Buddha Amitabha.
and the offerings are blessed once again. First, the dispelling mantra. Om Bhadra Amrita Kundali Hana Hana Hum Pe. And all obstacles and superstitions related to the offerings are gone. And then we purify into emptiness. Om Sawa Shuddha Sawadama Sawa Shuddha Hum. All is empty. Because dependent, out of emptiness from eight ohm syllables appear spacious, extensive jeweled vessels, inside of which the syllables ohm transform into different offering substances, which are clear, unobstructed, and as extensive as space. Om Agyam Agum. Om Padyam Ahu, Om Pupe Ahu, Om Dupe Ahu, Om Aloke Ahu, Om Gande Ahu, Om Nuade Ahu, Om Shapta Ahu. In the top of page nine, we actually present the offerings once again. Excuse me, Nick. This time we'll do the shorter version. Om Ayatare Sapari Variyai Yam Pad Yam Pua Pe Dua Pe Aloke Gande Nua De Shapta Prati Sam Soha. I prostrate to Mother Tara, the liberator of beings from existence the one who liberates from the eight worldly fears with Tutare, freeing from all illnesses with Ture, all the wisdom and activity of compassion of the extensive Buddhas, appearing in the form of an extremely beautiful goddess, bestowing longevity and supreme attainments to a great number of beings. I prostrate to the one who is extremely white and holds a Nutpala in her heart. And at the heart of the white Tara is an eight-spoked wheel with a hub and three rims. And just stabilize that. Eight spoked wheel, hub and three rims. And at the center on a moon disc is my own mind as a white tom, encircled by the mantra for increase, the Om Tari Tutari Ture, Mama Ayu Punyanjana Pushtam Kuri Soha. And so just stabilize. On the eight spokes are the eight syllables, tare, tutare, tere, so. On the inner rim are the vowels placed counterclockwise, om, a, a, i, i, u, u, ri, ri, li, li, i, a, o, a, om, a, so, ha. On the middle rim, the consonants are arranged counterclockwise, or excuse me, clockwise. Om ka 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 ga nga cha 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 nya ta 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 da na ta 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 da na pa 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 ba ma yara la va sha 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 ha ksha so ha. And on the outer rim is the mantra of the essence of dependent arising arranged clockwise. Om ye dama hetu kabawa hetun tesun tatagato hayavada tetsun chayo. Niroda, Evanvadi, Maha Shramana Yesoha. The seed syllables and all the letters of the mantra are in the nature of light. Dew drops of nectar stream forth from the letters. And so stabilize that as best as you can. Even if it's just an impression of rings of white syllables 
standing upright, made of light. It's okay if you can't see the individual syllables clearly. Yourself at the center as the Tom. And then think at the crown is the Lord of the family, Lord Amitaius, red in color, one face and two arms, holding a golden vase filled with the nectar of immortality in the gesture of meditative equipoise. And if there's someone that you're particularly doing this practice for, you can imagine them there in the vase as well. Amitayas is clad in silk and jeweled ornaments. He sits in the Vajra position. He is adorned at the heart with the red syllable Kri, from which hook-like red rays of light emanate in all directions, collecting all my life energies that have been robbed, stolen, caused to be taken away, or scattered by human and non-human beings as well as the essence of the five great elements and the life energies and merits of all living beings in a way that does not harm them, the brilliance and dignity of the three worlds and so forth. So just stabilize that part first, the hooked rays of red light going out from the Hri at the heart of Amitayas above the crown of white Tara. Bring back all that life force. And then think all the wealth and goodness of existence and the blessings of the body, speech, and mind of the guru, buddhas, and bodhisattvas are collected back in the form of nectar and rays of light in different colors and absorb into the vase in Amitayas's hands. So red hooks going out, made of light, multicolored light coming back, going into the vase. Light going out, hooking back vitality. Multicolor light coming back, bringing blessings, realizations, wealth and longevity, all going into the vase in Amitayas's lap. It absorbs there. And by this absorption, white nectar overflows and enters into my crown opening, absorbing into the wheel, the mantra, and the seed syllable at my heart. From that, rays of nectar flow down, filling my whole body, completely flooded with white light purifying, protecting, soothing. From the overflow of Amitayas's vase. My outer body is washed. The accumulation of unwholesome imprints and obscurations Illnesses, disturbances, and obstacles of life are cleansed and purified, thus restoring my life energies, merits, and broken vows and commitments, 
and I attain the city of immortality. Think thus. And so holding that visualization, then we add the mantra for increase on the top of page 12, White Tara's main mantra. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Mama Yum Punyan Jana Pushtam Kuraye Soha Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Mama Yum Punyan Jana Pushtam Kuraye Soha Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Mama Yum Punyan Jana Pushtam Kuraye Soha Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Mama Yum Punyan Jana Pushtam Kuraye Soha Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Mama Hayum Punyan Jana Pushtam Kuri Soha Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Mama Hayum Punyan Jana Pushtam Kuri Soha Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Mama Hayum Punyan Jana Pushtam Kuri Soha and continue under your breath, completely silent to those around you, but still with very small air passing through your lips. Dari to Tari to Mama, you put in Jana Pushtum Kuri so And now expand the visualization. So visualize that outside of myself is a white wheel made of space iron. 
with space inside like two hats joined together. The ten spokes above, below, and in the eight directions have very sharp points turning clockwise and extremely fast speed, thereby cutting into pieces all obstacles. Tongues of flames of light rays burn and swirl, and thus all disturbing forces are completely burnt like feathers burnt in fire. Stabilizing that. and be specific about what obstacles are being burnt. Negative habits in the mind, difficulties outside in your life, mental or physical health, all of your worries and stress being cut up, being burnt. And again, from the wheel and mantras at my heart, white rays of light emanate, filling my entire body, pacifying illness, disturbances, obscurations, unwholesome imprints, and all obstacles to light, filling up with white light. And we're so filled with white light that it goes out of the pores of my body and forms a white circle of light outside myself, bringing about the accomplishment of all peaceful activities, the power of pacification. And then yellow rays of light emanate, filling the whole body, bringing about increase of life, merit, and wisdoms of hearing, contemplation, and meditation, completely filled with yellow light. This power of increase, of manifesting, abundance. And we become so filled with yellow light that it radiates out, forming a yellow circle outside the white circle, bringing about the accomplishment of the activities of increase.
And then red rays of light emanate, endowing me with the power and energy to bring the three worlds under my control, completely beneficially and altruistically motivated. Red rays of power light filling my whole body. bringing strength to all of my positive endeavors, bringing power to my practice. Bringing an ability to control what needs to be controlled. Particularly my own negative states of mind. filled with red light. So full that light radiates out, forming a red circle outside the yellow circle, bringing about the accomplishment of the activities of control. Now dark blue rays of light emanate, filling my whole body, endowing me with the power and energy to achieve all activities of destruction, meaning wrath, and the wisdom to know when wrath is useful or necessary. Might have an appearance of destruction or an appearance of anger but the motivation being completely compassionate, totally wise, with no wish to harm whatsoever. The strength that can intimidate negative states of mind in myself and in others, but in no way intimidates the person themselves. Dominating destructive emotions without harming others at all. You fill up with this dark blue light of wrath, so full that it radiates out, forming a dark blue circle outside the red one, bringing about the accomplishment of the activities of destruction or wrath. As well as the wisdom of knowing when and how. And the rings of light are stable, white, yellow, red, blue. And then we add green by first filling up with green light, endowing us with the power to achieve enlightened activities, swift wisdom, efficiency. Fill up with green light. So full that light radiates out, forming a circle of green light outside the blue circle, bringing about the accomplishment of all enlightened activities.
and then finally brown rays of light are emitted. Sometimes they're described as copper, sometimes described even as magenta. But think that this light fills you up, bringing about stability of the power of activities and attainments. And so filled with this light, that light radiates out, forming a brownish or copper or magenta circle outside the green one, bringing about stability. All these six circles are egg-shaped and of one single piece, very hard and strong and cannot be destroyed, even by the winds at the end of existence. At the space between each circle is filled with fresh, newly blossomed blue Utpala flowers, soft and tender. So stabilize these rings as best as you can, or at least the strong impression that you're completely protected and completely empowered on all sides in all directions. and hold awareness, even if you can't hold the visualization. And we add the mantra once again. And this time we can just add the short version, top of page 14. Om Tare Tutare Ture Soha. 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 Continuing silently with very soft, gentle air coming through your mouth. Om Tare Tutare Ture Soha. Om Tare Tutare Ture Soha. And we purify any mistakes or omissions. Om Pemasapa Samaya Manupalaya Pemasapa Deno Padishna Dido Mebo Sudo Kayo Mebo Supo Kayo Mebo Hana Rakta Mebo Sawa Siri Me Prayatsa Sawa Kama Sutsa Me Siram Triam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bago Sawa Tata Gata Padma Mame Musa Padma Bawa Maha Samaya Sapa Ah Hum He Whatever mistakes I have made because of not knowing or lacking ability or not finding the proper materials, please be patient with these. <clears throat> um, 
Pariya Tare Sapari Wari Agyam Padyam Pua Pe Dua Pe Aloke Gende Nuade Shapta Prati Sahum Soha all the wisdom and activities of compassion of the extensive Buddhas appearing in the form of the extremely beautiful goddess, bestowing longevity and supreme attainments to a great number of beings. I praise to the one who is extremely white and holds a nutpala in her hand. Through the merit collected by this practice, may I quickly attain the state of wish-fulfilling wheel. And may I lead all living beings without exception to her state of enlightenment, thus dedicating the roots of merit. <clears throat> and blessing the Torma. Om Vajramrita Kundali Hana Hana Humpe Om Sawa Shuddha Sawadama Sawa Shuddha Hum out of emptiness from eight ohm syllables appear spacious extensive jeweled vases inside of which the syllable ohm transform into different offering substances which are clear unobstructed and as extensive as space om hagyam padyam vyupe duape haloke gande nude shapta arhu Om Vadramrita Kundali Hana Hana Humpe Om Sawa Shuddha Sawa Dhamma Sawa Shuddha Hum Out of emptiness from the letter Om comes a vast extensive jeweled vase inside of which the syllable Om melts into light and transforms into a great ocean of undefiled wisdom nectar. Om Ai Hum Om Ai Hum Om Ai Hum from one's heart, from the syllable Tam, rays of light emanate, inviting the Lady Tara surrounded by multitudes of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. They all partake of the essence of the Torma through the opening of light at the tips of their tongues. Om Hariyatare Sapari Wari Kai Kai Om Hariyatare Sapari Wari Kai Kai Om Hariyatare Sapari Wari Dambam Takaka 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 Kai Kai Om Hariyatare Sapari Wari Aigyam Padyam Pua Pe Dua Pe Aloke Gende Nude Japta Prati Sam Soha Venerable Bhagavati Tara, please bless me to eliminate all the obstacles of life of my own or someone else's and bestow upon me the attainment of immortality. And then once again, we'll purify any mistakes or omissions. Um, Padmasapha Samaya Manupalaya Padmasapha Deno Bodhishta Dito Mibawa Sudo Kayo Mibawa Supo Kayo Mibaw Anarakto Mibawa Sawa Sidi Me Prayatsa Sawa Kama Sutsam Sidam Shriam Kuru Hum Ha 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 Ho Bak Sava Sata Gata Padma Mame Mutsa Padma Bawa Mahasamaya Sapa Ahum Pe Whatever mistakes I have made because of not knowing or lacking ability or not finding the proper materials, please be patient with these. Please reside in these images. By residing for the benefit of all living beings, please bestow your blessings of health, life energy, power, and supreme attainments. Om Sutra Tisha <clears throat> Page 18. and visualize from the syllable at my heart, rays of light emanate. All the container and the contain dissolve into light and absorb into the brownish circle. And visualize the six circles and protective wheel 
dissolve in stages from outer to inner. And just sit with that visualization silently. And the protective wheel also dissolves into me. I absorb into the wheel, the wheel into the mantra rings the rings into the tongue, which dissolves by stages into emptiness. And once more out of emptiness arises Lady Tara, either at your crown or yourself as Tara. She is marked at the crown with an om, at the throat with an ah, at the heart center by a hum. and we dedicate together. Through the merit collected by this practice, may I attain the state of Venerable Tara and lead all living beings without exception to her state of enlightenment. When the signs of untimely death appear by instantly seeing the form of the wish-fulfilling wheel, the power of the Lord of Death is eliminated. May I swiftly attain the state of the knowledge holder of immortality. Through the roots of merit accumulated by this meditation, recitation, praises, and offerings to the Venerable Tara, may all obstacles, interferences, evils, and disturbances be pacified, and may I enjoy the glory of immortality. By merely seeing your body, hearing your speech, and remembering you, all signs of untimely death are destroyed. In all my lifetimes, may I be guided by Venerable Tara, and may I be able to enjoy the Holy Dharma, May I swiftly attain the activities of pacification, increase power and destruction, the eight cities and so forth. May I quickly attain all the common and supreme attainments. And may all my hope and wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. Whoever holds the sweet dew of nectar of immortality, the sadhana of the white Utpala flower, in the palms of their hands respectfully, Arya Tara will rejoice in that fortunate being. And so then think also, may all of our teachers show the aspect of long life. So in particular, His Holiness, the wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, the incomparably kind, supreme Tenzin Gatso, may you have a long life and all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. And Lama Zoka Rinpoche. What hoops were Chan Ching Chang Gong Galway? Ten Zing Kuan Pelway Kun Zor Dor Pose. Sure, some Kua Way lay Mon Jojo. Pa Da Sordu Jay Gondu Shop Ten Show.